Once every year, a miracle of colour is born of the sandy soil of Holland. In fields less than four miles from the dikes which hold back the sea, an ocean of flowers, a flood of perfume too, spills o'er the land. It is a sea which gives up a golden harvest, then quickly subsides into green. For in these floral gardens, which stretch south from Harlem, 12 miles to Leiden, no worker would leave a flower to bloom a day beyond its prime. The heads of the flowers are picked as soon as they reach their prime, lest they should rob their bulbs of the food by which they will grow. This is not the end of the golden crop, for large numbers of the flower heads are bought by roadside vendors who make them into garlands. All the proverbial patience of a people skilled with their hands goes into this linking of flower heads with wire. It's an old Dutch custom which some of our own barrow boys might profitably adopt. A roadside offering which will not be long without a customer in a land where the spring flower festival is part of the normal order of things. Yes, a friendly old custom, this garlanding, which the Dutch brought home from the east. But behind all the customs lies the serious business of a national industry. From the celebrated hothouses have come bulbs which have mothered exports worth millions. These sample tables are loaded with specimens of a thousand prize varieties. Soon the bulbs which produce the flowers will be on their way to markets abroad. They are the mid-century display of an industry which dates back 300 years the days when the first rare bulbs changed hands for 450 pounds apiece. Now we see one of the great bulb auctions in progress, an auction where deals involving the sale of millions of bulbs depends on the signal from a switch. The flowers on view at the auction are clear evidence of the quality of the bulbs which gave them birth. Bids worth 10 million pounds were offered last year for a total of 3,000 million bulbs. But there'd be few bids for cut flowers in Holland. Happy flower-decked land of Holland. Land where tradition and old custom flourish. Land which is linked close in understanding with the English heart. Land which depends so greatly on this floral miracle of spring.